You might be asking yourself, what would I do this activity about pipe and convection? Well, if you teach anything about heat transfer, density or buoyancy, it'll fit into a whole bunch of other curriculum. Like if you teach about oceanography, earth science, meteorology, astronomy, physics, or chemistry. So when it comes to the brands of soap, there's a whole variety out there that might fit the bill. You might find one that works better than another one, so just try them and check them out. We have a whole variety here. Some of these work better than others. This one I just found today, it was in our bathroom at the museum. Works great. If you do find a brand that works really good, I suggest buying a lot because manufacturers have a tendency to change the formula year after year. Get something good, stick with it. Buy a lot for several years. Just to let you know, that pearlescent luster that's in the soap, it used to historically be caused by, or they made it with, by using bits of metal, um, inorganic compound, fish scales, but nowadays what they do is they add a variation of glycol stearate. It's a huge molecule that reflects and refracts light, so you have this really cool flow visualization um, aspect to this fluids over here. But the interesting thing about this huge organic molecule is that when you heat your pie pan up too hot, that molecule breaks. And if you noticed, your solution will turn clear. Finally, if you want to avoid spillage and doing that mix all the time, you can actually put your soapy solution in a bottle like this. It looks really cool, it's transportable, it's easy to pull out and use. But if you use something like this, what you don't want to do is put it on a high heat source. If you do have something like a cup of hot water, it works great. And you can see the convection going really well. Those are some teacher tips.